So we have to remember something about our nodes. Remember, the nodes are not objects in space. They are positional calculations of a portal. They're a portal through which the stellar background field surrounds us and comes through into us the programming. They are pure filtering agents of that neutrino ocean. So because they are not objects, they are simply pure filtering agents of the neutrino ocean. Unless there happens to be a planet in conjunction with those nodes, there is no god. I've been calling the planets gods within us, you know, like Jupiter being Zeus and Mars being Aries and Venus, Aphrodite, that kind of, you know, getting the flavor or feeling the energy of these planets. Neutrino, when they go through the nodes, they're pure, they're clean. There's no influence. There's no filtering through a planet, unless you happen to have in your specific design, a planet in conjunction there with that nodal imprint. So the nodes, when we isolate them, they represent an imprint that is in this sense, universal. So your nodal imprint is not some planetary archetypal God, which is a flavor in you. The nodes are trans solar system calculations. The unconscious nodal frame shows us your path. You are walking in this life and what the characters are going through on that journey that you are resonating to being around. It shows the quality of the environment. It shows you where you fulfill your life's purpose, your life's work. And nodes are an alignment to information in the neutrino ocean, which originates in a whole different frame, if you will. The positional calculation of the nodes shows us what our connectivity is to everything, to all that is. And the conscious nodal frame shows us your perspective along the journey of where you be. So here is how you see and what you resonate to seeing in the characters you are watching on life's journey. In other words, our conscious nodes show the quality of your potential clarity of awareness. It shows us who you resonate to, to fulfill your life's purpose with and how you're designed to see along that path and your trajectory of this movement in space, objects hurtling in space, all of us flying through space. Who's with us? How do we see what we're seeing? How do we describe or interpret what we're seeing? How do we explain our perspective, our unique differentiated perspective. It has to do with these link nodes operating in alignment. Otherwise we just get babble, not something unique and different. We get homogenization. If you are not operating in alignment, if you're not making decisions that are correct for you, everything's skewed because remember the conscious personality nodes are how we are designed to see that feeds our motivational awareness. It frames how we are going to conceptualize about life. When we get to our conscious personality, motivational awareness, this is where the transformation number three happens is the way that you see things radically changes. Instead of being distracted, now you're seeing in alignment, which changes everything, not just your perspective, but also how your mind is interpreting life, thinking about life. So in essence, this is the way we begin to approach comprehending nodes because they are the ones that do the work of the magnetic monopole. It's in these nodes which hold us together in the illusion of what it is to be us that we can find our link of body and mind. So it's phenomenal. It's phenomenal and really something to comprehend that the design link node gives you a key to your life in so many ways. As you know, I'm an IHGS certified rave cosmology teacher. And in human design, we teach that the design link 
node, your unconscious north node, shows the point of your fixed star. So Ra teaches us that there are no rules, quote, there are no rules about what the limitation is to be a nine-centered being. There is no such thing. There isn't. It's a mutation. When we think about the program, one of the dilemmas of dealing with the program all the time, because we are in it and of it, is that we begin to give it qualities that in essence, it does not deserve. It's a perfect mutation. You have the birth of a star and its system that has a deep connectivity to other stars, that has the perfect positioning in terms of frequency, its satellites, that because of its relationship to these other stars, there is a streaming of neutrino information that is perfectly diversified by the construct of the solar system itself. And it's not because it was planned. It's not because anything at any level could ever have expected it. It's what makes it so special. It makes us so special. We who are nothing but stars, because that is what we are. We are stars, unquote. And it is our design north node, which shows us the imprint of the star that we came from, this star that we are headed home to. So besides showing us our fixed star position, it is through this design link node that your body, this vehicle, presents itself as being available and useful to your passenger. So the design link node links you through the body being available to your mind's witness consciousness, its perspective of being embodied in this form. So Ra says, quote, it is the link node of the personality that opens up the potential in that sense to be able to accept the demands of the form and the demands of the physical plane. 